If you've ever created an email notification, especially a custom email notification, and you'll say, I want to include a link, this is usually how it looks. And notice that it's display record, click. It takes me to the record, but if I want to do something with it, I've got to click on edit, and now I'm working on the record. I've always wanted this to be an edit record scenario. So I've created three different fields up here with different options here. Now, I'm going to focus here in the end with this with CSS because this button here actually comes through and is explained and shown here as very nice looking inside the email. Notice the other options are click here, click here, and they both do the same thing. This is a formula URL and this is a formula text. Notice the ER uh, in the, in, that's common in all of these. And that, that's the difference between these and this display only record option that's here. So let's go take a look at the email notification and then we'll look at uh, some of the actual um, buttons and how they're cr created. We're going to go over here to the email notification and we're into this email notification number two. Now this is a custom email message. We said custom up here. And this is the link that is traditionally one that you would add. And you would find that right, um, send me a link right here, a link to the changed record. And that's what this is here. Unfortunately, it's long and you don't have any way to disguise it. So we've created three other options. We've got a formula URL link. It's called formula URL link. We're going to use a formula rich text link, and then we're doing the exact same thing, a formula rich text link, but with CSS so that a button is generated, which goes through our email. So um, let's cancel out of here. Let's go back in and look at the uh, buttons in themselves, and you can decide which ones that you want to use. But all three of these will put us back onto this record in edit mode. So right click. This is a formula URL. And it pretty much says formula URL and notice the ER. And we can call on this field, but it looks like a hyperlink, even though it's a formula URL button. Emails will filter that out. Now let's look at the, uh, the next one. And that one's the uh, rich text, formula rich text field. And we have very much the same kind of thing. We have an anchor tag because this is uh, an href. It looks at the database and it gives us the edited version, which record, where the record ID is equal to the RID, and it says click here. Now, if we want to make this button look like a, uh, a button, you can't use the Vibrant Success Series or Vibrant Danger or Vibrant Alert that you might in others because QuickBase will be, um, your email will strip that out. So really what we want is a CSS version of this. So let's go take a look at what that third option is. And that is th this one right here. That will go through and be beautiful in your emails. So here we have the, the, the same hyperlink where we're going to edit record. Which record? The one with the record ID. It says click me is going to be on the button. You can put whatever verbiage you want to there. But we're injecting here. This, this here is this variable up, up above. So we've created a variable for style. And, and there it is. The width of the the of the um, the box that we're looking at, the shadowing, the color, the centering, all of that kind of stuff is put in here, and you can see the background color as well as the color of the text. It will be white. So uh, so this is the one that I would suggest doing um, and using strictly because it makes your emails that much better. So better than this, better than this, better than this uh, might be this. We cover things like this in our webinars each Monday through Friday at 1 p.m. East Coast time, so you're always welcome to pop in here. You'll find that at quickbase.com slash webinar should you like to attend. Thanks.